What's up guys, Strax here. Today I'm gonna to show you the top four best male tryout outfits to make using clothing glitches. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the first outfit. Hey guys, are you looking to buy an account from Charlie Smurfing? You guys can get an account for your Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, and PS5. It's a simple process. Go ahead and choose the console you're on and then select the account you want. Once you select the account you want, you can then just go into the description and you can see what you are getting on that account. Once you like it, you can then just add it to cart. Once you do add your account to cart, click on view cart and then you can use my discount code SDRAX for 5% off. Now make the payment. Once you do make the payment, you guys will get your account instantly. It's instant delivery at checkout and your email. You can also go to their review page on Trustpilot and let them know your boy Estrax sent you and make sure to give them a five star. So I hope you guys did enjoy and let's just go ahead and get back into the video. This is going to be the first outfit I'm gonna show you on how to make. I'll show you on how to get the duffel bag later. But to make this outfit, after you are at a clothing store, walk up here to the top section, scroll down until you find sweaters which will be on slot 44 and then scroll down to slot 69 which will be the black turtleneck after you've equipped the black turtleneck back out of sweaters scroll up until you find overcoats on slot 22 and equip the black cashmere coat on slot 51 after you have the black turtleneck and the overcoat you can then just back out of the top section walk over here to your pants click on jeans on slot one and look for the midnight camo fitted on slot 67 after you've equipped the midnight camo fitted jeans, you can now back out of the pants section, head over here to your accessories, click on chains on slot one, and equip the silver bar pendant on slot 11. After you do equip this chain, go down to gloves on slot seven, and look for the white cotton gloves on slot 53. And when you have equipped the chain and the gloves, that's all for your accessories. So head over here to your shoes, click on sneakers, on slot two and equip the white studded sneakers which will be near the bottom on slot 36 and after you do equip these sneakers back out of the shoe section go over here to your hats scroll down to combat helmets on slot 23 and equip the black quad lens on slot 45 when you do have the black quad lens equipped on your character now we're going to get the final head accessory which will be over here at the mask store as soon as you make it to the mask store, walk over here to your mask, scroll down to ski mask on slot 21 and equip the black tie ski, which will be all the way at the bottom on slot 114. After you do equip the black tie ski, you should see that it merged together with your combat helmet. And this is what your outfit will look like so far. What you're gonna do is go over here to the tops, the hats or the mask, hit edit saved outfits and you, you can save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, now we're gonna go ahead and get the black open duffel bag. And to do this, you're gonna need to head over here to the freak shop. Okay guys, when you make it to your freak shop, you're gonna look for a yellow circle. There'll either be a yellow circle inside the freak shop or there'll be one on the outside. But once you do find one, you're then just gonna walk inside the yellow circle and press right on the D-pad to enter. After you've entered the job, you're gonna look for the job called First Dose 2. So if you're on First Dose 3 or anything past that, you're gonna need to complete all the missions until you complete First Dose 1, and then you'll be on First Dose 2. After you want First Dose 2, you can then just confirm your settings and then launch the job on your own. Once you have made it to the Jet Sam terminal, you're gonna look for a truck cab that will look like this. There should be a few in this parking lot. Once you do find a truck cab, you're then just gonna go ahead and pick up the party supplies. After you have collected the party supplies, it's not going to tell you to go to the freak shop, but you don't have to. There's going to be enemies after you. And after a little bit, it's going to tell you to detach the trailer. After you detach the trailer, then it's going to tell you to go to the Lost MC Clubhouse. So after you have taken out all the enemies, what you need to do is just go inside the Lost MC Clubhouse. There's going to be this red door. You're just going to walk into this room, pull up your phone, go to the Snapmatic, and you just need to take a picture of this whiteboard. After you've taken a picture of the whiteboard, hit continue. Walk outside of this room, go to your right, there will be a duffel bag on this table. Just press right on the D-pad to pick it up, and then you're just going to go behind you over here onto this wooden table, and you're going to start looting up this duffel bag. And after you've looted up the duffel bag, you're going to pull out a weapon just in case any enemies come into this building. But what you need to do now is pull up your interaction menu, go to style, scroll down to illuminating clothing, and scroll through illuminating clothing for at least 30 seconds. As soon as you have scrolled through your illuminating clothing for at least 30 seconds, you can now put away your interaction menu, pull up your phone, and just quit the job from your phone. Once you have made it back into a public or an invite only session, you should see that you have the duffel bag on your outfit. Now, if you don't, what you need to do is pull up your interaction menu, register as a boss, register as a CEO, start an organization, 
pull up your interaction menu up again, click on SecureServe CEO, click on management, click on style, and this is just in case you don't have the duffel bag, what you're gonna do on your CEO style is scroll one time to the right and then one time to the left back to none, and you should see that you have the duffel bag on your outfit. Now, I didn't have to do that since I, since I already have the duffel bag on my outfit. Now, once you have the duffel bag, the vehicle I'd recommend you to use for this glitch is the Oppressor Mark II, and then we're gonna head over here to the beach. Okay guys, now that you are at the beach on your oppressor, what you need to do is fly high in the sky just like this, and then you're just gonna go ahead and jump off your oppressor, pull your parachute whenever you think you're ready, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and you're gonna hover over the outfit slot that we saved earlier with the with all of our components so you can see we don't have the thermal quad lens. After you are hovering over the outfit and as soon as your character is landing and taking off the first strap of the parachute, you're gonna re-equip the outfit again. So just like this, re-equip the outfit. You will press thermal and if you do, just go to your accessories. You're then just gonna go down to helmets and just press, if you're on Xbox, press X to, to deactivate the thermal or if you're on PlayStation, press square and you should be good. Now you will see that you have the duffel bag on your outfit. What we're gonna do now is the mass door save glitch. So get back on your oppressor, fly high in the sky just like this, aim yourself towards the mass door, and then you're just gonna jump off your oppressor like this, pull your parachute whenever you think you're ready, and try to guide yourself towards the mass door like this. And if you wanna slow your character down, hold your left and right bumper, and then try to have your character hit the blue tarp so your character falls either on the hat or the mask, and then start spamming right on the D-pad like this. Now, you should be inside the clothing or the mask, so just, just hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want or the slot you saved it on before. After you've saved your outfit, back out of the hats, the mask, or the tops, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and re-equip the outfit we just saved, and you'll see that you have the duffel bag with the rest of your components with your outfit. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and here's a better look of the outfit if you guys want to see the whole thing in the pause menu. I'd say the black, this is a pretty clean black and white outfit. I hope you guys do like it. And yeah, that will be all. Now we can just move on to the second glitched outfit. Okay guys, now for the second outfit, I'm gonna show you on how to make the orange bulletproof helmet outfit. And to do this, this only works on Xbox Series X and S, PS4 and PS5. Sorry Xbox One players, it doesn't work for you. But what you need to do is go ahead and bookmark the job that does fit your console. After you bookmark the job in the description, you will need to restart your game. After you restart your game, load into a new session, then you can just hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on bookmarked, and then you're going to go to last team standing, and you're going to, if you're on Xbox Series X and S, you're going to look for this dash job by Kenza, and if you're on PS4 or PS5, you're going to look for a power play mission, but after you have found the jogger's job, you're just going to go ahead and launch it up. When you load into the job, you don't need to do anything, just invite a friend. Whenever your friend does join, confirm the settings, and then you can launch the job. Whenever you're in here, just hit ready to play. And you can see whenever you load into the job that you are wearing the outfit you had on before you started the job, and you will see if you are the host, you are wearing the orange joggers with the orange bulletproof helmet. Now, if you wanna go ahead and save the outfit, just pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your accessories, and you're gonna go to your gloves on slot 13, and scroll through your gloves for at least a few seconds. After you have scrolled through your gloves, you can now put away your interaction menu, pull up your phone, and just quit the job from your phone. And there you guys go, we loaded back into a public or an invite only session, and you will be wearing the orange joggers and the orange bulletproof helmet. That's if you were the host player, but if you were the second player, you would load back into a session with the purple joggers and the purple bulletproof helmet. Now, all you wanna do is just head to a clothing store. After you do make it to the clothing store with the orange joggers outfit with the orange bulletproof helmet, you're gonna go up to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. This is just in case you guys just wanna make another outfit with the orange joggers or the orange bulletproof helmet. So after you have saved this outfit, let's create the orange bulletproof helmet outfit in the thumbnail. To make this outfit, make sure you are obviously wearing the orange bulletproof helmet, and then you're gonna walk over here to your tops, scroll down until you find sports tops on slot 53, and look for the trickster baseball shirt on slot 39. After you do equip this sports top, you can then just back out of the top section, walk over here to your pants. You're then just gonna click on jeans on slot one and look for the midnight camo fitted on slot 67. After you've equipped the midnight camo fitted jeans, back out of your pants, head over here to your accessories, go down to cuffs on slot eight, and for your left arm, you're gonna equip the spiked gauntlet on slot 27. Now, if you want a, the spiked gauntlet for your right arm, you're gonna scroll down to slot 71, which will be the spiked gauntlet for your right arm. 
After you do have the cuffs, you can now go up to gloves, onslaught 7, and look for the black fingerless gloves, onslaught 56. And after you have equipped the cuffs and the gloves, that's all for your accessories. Now walk over here to your shoes, go down to skate shoes, onslaught 3, and look for the black skate shoes, onslaught 2. When you have equipped the black skate shoes, you can now back out of the shoe section, and then we're going to go over here to the glasses. Once you make it to the glasses, go down to hipster glasses, and you're going to buy the slate hipsters on slot 30. After you do buy the slate hipsters glasses, back out of the glasses section, and now we're just going to go over here to the mask door for our outfit. When you do make it to the mask door, walk over here to the mask, scroll down to crime on slot 9, and you're going to equip the black t-shirt mask on slot 56. You will see that the bulletproof helmet and mask merge together. Now we're just going to merge the glasses. So what you're going to need to do is head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. As soon as you do find a telescope on the pier, do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope. That's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your glasses until you find the slate hipsters. As soon as you find the slate hipsters glasses, your mask will come off, but you guys don't need to worry. Put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, the glasses, the mask, and helmet will merge all together just like this. And that will be all for your outfit. So now you can just go to the clothing store, save your outfit on any slot that you want. And yeah, I hope you guys like this outfit. And let's just move on to the third glitched outfit. This will be the third outfit I'm gonna show you on how to make. I'm gonna show you on how to get one glove on your character like this. And to do this, what you need to do is go up here to the front counter. You're then just gonna scroll down to the outfits golf on slot 54. And you can equip any golf glove that you want, but if you're just copying me, equip the chip outfit. As soon as you do equip the chip outfit back out of the front counter, go over here to your tops, scroll down to utility vest on slot 60, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you're going to equip the stealth utility vest on slot 60. As soon as you equip the stealth utility vest, go all the way back up to slot 1 and put on no utility vest. Now your character is shirtless. Once your character is shirtless, back out of the tops, you're going to walk over here shoes. After you make it to your shoes, go down to skate shoes on slot 3 and look for the gray skate shoes, which will be all the way down here on slot 15. After you do equip the all gray skate shoes, back out of the shoe section and then walk over here to your hats, scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which will be on slot 19 and equip the charcoal bulletproof. After you've equipped the charcoal bulletproof helmet, you can now back out of the hats. Now for the parachute, what you need to do is pull up your interaction, menu, go to style, go to parachute, set it to on and have it set to the charcoal combat shoe bag, which will look like this. If you don't have the charcoal combat shoe bag, go to a gun store, go up to the front counter Go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then buy the charcoal combat shoe bag. After you do that, back out of the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to parachute, sub to on, and it should be set to the charcoal combat shoe bag, just like this. Now for the final head accessory, what we need to do is go over here to the mask door. And after you're at the mask door, walk over here to the mask, go to ski mask, onslaught 21, and scroll all the way to the bottom, onslaught 114, and equip the black tight ski. You should, see, you should see that it merged together with the bulletproof helmet. And yeah, that will be all. Now, if you do try to put on a shirt or just any top, the glove does come off. That's why it's kind of glitched out. I don't know why, but that's just how Rockstar made it. So this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So I hope you guys do like this all gray outfit. I think it's actually pretty clean since it's pretty rare that you can't normally put on one glove, but this is the only time you can. And yeah, let's just move on to the fourth glitched outfit. The final outfit, the yellow outfit, I'm gonna be showing you on how to make is basically an RNG outfit. So if you guys like to do RNG, this outfit will be perfect for you. But first you need to get the black joggers and to do this, pull up your interaction menu, go to services, go to mobile operations center and request your MOC. After you have done that, you're then just gonna hit pause, wait for your MOC to spawn on the map and once it does, you're then just going to head to the back of your MOC. After you do get inside your MOC, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's going to say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit right on the D-pad, log in, and scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black jogger. So just go ahead and launch this job. And after you do launch this job, you guys will need a friend to help you out. And after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out, you can just go ahead and start the job. 
and for the difficulty make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives but i'll just get back to you whenever i do load into the job once you load into the job if you guys are the first player which is the host you guys will begin the black joggers but if you're the second player you're going to be getting the red joggers whenever you guys fully load in just go ahead and head to your apartment when you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're going to want to go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just going to want to change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just going to go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter. But just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back up, back out of the closet, go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. After you make it to the clothing store with the black joggers outfit, walk over here to the top section. I'm going to take off the hood and I'll show you on how to get it up with the glasses and hat later. But after you are here at the tops, scroll down until you find designer hoodies on slot 42 and equip the yellow pullover hoodie on slot 17. After you do equip this hoodie, back out of the top section. We don't need to worry about the pants since we do have the black joggers. But walk over here to your accessories, go down to gloves on slot 7 and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. And after you do equip the black woolen gloves, that's all for your accessories. So head over here to your shoes, click on sneakers on slot two and look for the Sting high top sneakers on slot 15. After you have equipped these, these sneakers back out of the shoe section, now go over here to your hats, scroll down to designer caps forward on slot 28 and look for the black trickster forwards on slot 10. Once you do equip the black trickster forwards cap, you can then back out of the hat section, go over here to your glasses, click on casual glasses, and buy the black SC coin wraps on slot 55. After you do equip the black SC coin wraps, you should see that it merges together with the hat. Now to pull up the hoodie, or the hood on the hoodie, pull up your interaction menu, go do style, scroll down to hood, and then you're just going to press right on the d-pad to set it to up, just like this, and it's that easy. Now to put on the black body armor, put back out of style scroll up to inventory go to body armor scroll down to show armor and set it to the standard armor which looks like this black vest right here and you guys are ready to go for rng and here's a better look of the outfit if you guys just want to see it in the pause menu so yeah that will be all just go up here to the front counter hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want after you have saved it that will be all so i hope you did like all four of these outfits i did show you on how to make it today's video Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.